If you enjoy fish at restaurants, but you're apprehensive about cooking it at home, I want you to watch this video about a fail-proof method of cooking fish. First, I'm Yumna, aka Feel Good Foodie. I love to share wholesome, nutritious recipes that make your body feel good. We all know that fish is loaded with good for you nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids. And I wanna show you an easy method of cooking fish at home so you can reap all those benefits. The technique is poaching. You can poach fish in water, you can poach fish in a lemon butter sauce, or you can even poach fish in broth or tomato sauce, which is what we're doing today. It's a healthy, easy method that is full of so much flavor and the fish comes out perfectly flaky and delicious. So here's what you'll need. We're gonna start with some white fish. This is cod right here. You can use any other kind of white fish or you can even make this with salmon. We're also gonna use some um, diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes, onions, olives, garlic, capers, and some oregano, crushed red pepper, salt and pepper. So let's get started. We're gonna add some olive oil to a heated pan and then add the onions to the olive oil. We wanna cook the onions until they're soft and translucent, just about three to five minutes. Now we'll add the garlic and just cook it for an extra minute until it's fragrant. All right, I'm smelling it. Time to add the diced tomatoes. If you find crushed tomatoes, it's probably better, but diced tomatoes works really well as well. And since we're using diced tomatoes instead of crushed tomatoes, you wanna use the back of your spoon and just kind of crush the tomatoes just for a little bit, just so we can create a nice smooth sauce out of this. And we're gonna season this with half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon black pepper, half a teaspoon of oregano, and one fourth teaspoon crushed red pepper. Give that all a good mix. And you can continue to crush those tomatoes with the back of your spoon. We're gonna lower the temperature to a low right now and let it simmer for 10 minutes until that sauce gets nice and thick. While the sauce is simmering, it's a good time to go ahead and season the fish. I like to season it very simple with salt and pepper because that whole tomato sauce is going to end up cooking it and flavoring the fish. I have here four, six ounces of cod and I like to use half a teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, let's check on the sauce. It is looking so good. What we wanna do now is just give everything a good mix again. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna nestle that fish in that sauce and that sauce is basically gonna poach the fish, which means it's just gonna cook it from all that heat and all that liquid in there. And now for some added flavor, I'm gonna add some olives in there, just kind of sprinkle them all throughout the sauce. And I'm also gonna add some capers. Gives it a nice sour taste, kind of similar to like a vinegar. And it just helps to also flavor it really well. Now the best part is you don't have to turn the fish, you don't have to check on the fish, you don't really have to do anything, just cover it and let it cook for eight to 10 minutes, that's it. And look at that, it looks so beautiful, nice and flaky and perfectly cooked. Now depending on how thick the fish is that you have, this could take up to 10 minutes, but the ones that I'm using were not too thick, so seven, eight minutes and they're perfectly ready. And I like to serve this on top of some pasta, it just gives it a nice like Mediterranean flavor. So what I do is scoop up some sauce into some pasta, and add the fish right on top. And now we can just finish it off with some fresh basil just to give it extra flavor. And there you have it, poached fish made in a beautiful tomato sauce. You can make this much easier by just using your favorite marinara sauce. You can even poach the fish in any kind of sauce that you want. It's a simple, feel-proof method of cooking fish at home, and I hope you give it a try. And now I think it's time for Video Matt to try this recipe. So let's see what he thinks. Awesome, he likes the recipe. And I hope you guys try the recipe and like it as well. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the video description below for a full written recipe. And be sure to like, follow, subscribe for more healthy recipes with feel-good ingredients. See you guys next time.